Assalamu alaikum students. I hope you will be enjoying the good health. We have done our letter number 6 and I also hope that you would have practiced it by writing it in your own words. Today we are going to start our letter number 7. So the topic of letter number 7 is write a letter to your friend congratulating her on her birthday. Congratulate means Mubarak Baad Dina. So you have to write a letter to your friend and you have to give congratulations to him or her on her birthday. But before starting the letter, once more we will see the format of the letter. <coughs> so we know that when we start a letter, at first we write the writer's address at the top right corner of the page. In writer's address, we write the name and address of the writer but I hope now you have the idea in the papers we are not allowed to write the name and address that's why in the papers at the place of writer's address we simply write examination hall comma and then we write city a dot b dot c so this is how we write the writer's address in the papers after the writer's address, our uh, second step, it comes date. So we have two formats for date. The first is that you can write the date first, then the month. When you will write the month, your first letter would be capital. And after the month, you will write year. And before the year, you are supposed to put the comma. One more thing is that class, if you write the date first. So you will write first, third, tenth. 11th you are supposed to add uh, th with the date if it is first then you will add st if you are writing the date first and the second format is that you can write the month first like june 12 2020 so in second format there is no need to add th or st with the date but the important thing is that the first letter of the month would be capital and before the year you will put comma after the date we write the salutation salutation is a way of addressing the person you are writing a letter to ye us shakhs ko muhatib karne ka tarika hai jise aap letter likh rahe hain so we know that if we are writing to the family members our salutation is different if we are writing to the friends or strangers or teachers the way of salutation the addressing to them is different then comes the body body it has a main message of the letter and at the end we write subscription subscription is also called the ending subscription is also written according to your addressee if your addressee is a family member subscription the closing would be different if it is a friend or a stranger then the subscription or the ending of the letter would be different now let's start the reading of the letter now let's start the reading of the letter but before starting the reading of the letter uh, let's find out its different parts so at the top right corner of your screen you can see that this is your writer's address and uh, i hope that uh, now we know that in in papers we do not write the name and address in place of name and address we write examination hall comma e capital h capital and then comma after examination hall you are supposed to write city a dot b dot c and uh, this is your writer's address after the writer's address we write the date so we have two formats here i am writing the uh, date first 15th june 2020 so in uh, the first letter of the month it is supposed to be capital one and before the year you will put comma on the left side of your screen you have salutation we know that salutation is a way of addressing the person you are writing a letter to jisko aap muhatib kar rahe hain usko muhatib jisko aap likh rahe hain hat usko muhatib karne ka tarika salutation kehlata hai so you can write dear friend you can also uh, you can also write the name of friend but it is better to simply write dear friend comma after salutation comma is compulsory now uh, this is your body next part 
body it has the main message of the letter and at the end you have subscription your sincerely subscription is also called the ending of the letter now let's start the reading of the body of the letter so i will read the sentences i will explain you their meaning and i will also tell you the substitutes uh, i will tell you other sentences which you can use in place of the given sentences again um, it's my advice to you it is not at all compulsory to only prepare this letter you can write even your own letter it's even better <clears throat> so now let's start i am specially writing this letter to congratulate you congratulate means mubarakbad dena i am specially writing this letter to congratulate you on your birthday Uh, the meaning of this line is this uh, i am writing this letter with only one purpose i have no other purpose and i am writing this letter with a purpose to congratulate you on your birthday now in place of sentence number 1 you can write any other sentence for example you can write i am unable to join your birthday party as i am out of the city anyhow i congratulate you on your birthday uh, let's let's move to the next sentence i owe you a gift o means zimme hona mere zimme tumhare liye ek tohfa hai so in place of this sentence in place of this portion you can write i have a special gift for you i have a precious gift for you and you will get it when you come to lahore and uh, you will receive this gift when you will come to visit us or you can say that i want to uh, give this gift to you personally i was going to send it to you by post but then i was informed that you plan to come to lahore so meaning is that ke main ye tumhe bhejne laga tha lekin phir mujhe pata laga ke tum lahore aa rahe ho so uh, you can uh, write you can replace this sentence with i was uh, you know, planning to uh, deliver it to you by post uh, but then i came to know that you are also planning to visit us you are also planning to come to lahore so i decided to give it to you personally so in place of this sentence you can write that so i made up my mind that i will give you the gift with my own hands i am waiting for you i am looking for you convey my respects to aunt and uncle you can also write pay my respects to aunt and uncle wishing you the best in place of this line you can also write uh, best of luck and then you have the subscription yours sincerely comma x dot y dot z we know that we write the subscription uh, according to our addressy because the addressy is your friend that's why you will write yours sincerely at then you will not write your name you will write x dot y dot z so again i i would advise you to practice this letter by writing it in your own words it will improve your uh, it will improve your writing certainly so on your book the letter would be like this it is on page number 20 so it it would be uh, like this so you can see on the right side the address is written uh, like this but you are not supposed to write it like this you will write examination hall city abc and if you see at the place of salutation a uh, name is written there it's okay but it's more better but it uh, sorry but it better to write friend dear friend so that was our today's lesson inshallah i will see you in next video assalam alaikum